Hi everyone, welcome to Give It A Go. In these videos we will be learning all about jazz and the instruments that play jazz, as well as how it grooves and swings, and how we can feel that groove and swing in our bodies. In this last video we have our final special guest, and I'm very, very excited for you to hear and see this instrument. It's not an instrument that we see very often. This is Cody. Hi Sue. Hello. Let's try to guess which instrument he plays. So this looks quite strange. It looks like a leg of some sort. Have you any idea what it might be? Those look like some kind of tube. It looks like it's maybe made out of metal. What do you think it might be? Do you have any idea? It's a vibraphone. This is a vibraphone. The vibraphone was invented around about 100 years ago in the United States. It was very much used in jazz from the very beginning. So this, I always think of this as a jazz instrument. These bars here, met, they're made out of metal, they're made out of aluminium. It's, it's a kitchen foil. When it's thin, that's aluminium. When it gets thick, you get bars like this. And then underneath each of these bars, there's a tube. You can see these tubes here. Each tube, there's a little disc. See? And it's on an axle. So this piece of rod here, that's called an axle. And it can be spun round. You can hear the sound it makes already. You can use them as big pan pipes as well, but they don't make a lot of sound. So you can hear the different pitches, because they're stopped at different lengths there as they go along. We use what's called a mallet a mallet and I have lots of mallets so the difference in sound is that it comes louder yeah so the ones down here these have the tubes you can see the tubes here and how loud these are It's much louder. So the tubes, the sound goes in to the tubes and it bounces around inside the tube and it comes out again. That's called resonance. The other point of this instrument is that there's a pedal underneath. So you can see my foot here is on a pedal. Let me just lift this and show you. So you see the pedal? It's just there. And when you press down on the pedal, it allows these bars to ring out. And then when I take my foot off the pedal, the sound stops. It means you can create these lovely long passages.
But when you combine the long notes, sustained notes, with the axle spinning and the discs, you get this lovely vibrato, long vibrato. So it's a bit like if you do this with your mouth. That sort of sound. You can do it fast or slow. And the reason why it's called a vibraphone is because it has a vibrato. In this part of the video, this is where you need your percussion instrument. So if you don't have something sorted, pause the video and come back. You'll need your instrument or your box and whatever you decided to use as a beater. We're going to be sound explorers and we're going to explore three different sounds. Tapping jaggy and swirly. Now if you've done these sounds already with some of the previous videos, you could maybe explore some more and try to find some new sounds all of your own. We're also going to find out from our special guests how they would make those sounds on their instruments and you'll have a chance to play along with them. <laughs> our first sound is tapping. You're going to use the wooden spoon or the pen or the ruler and tap the top of whatever you're using. And you could also try using your hands. Let's find out how Cory makes a tapping sound on the vibraphone. Are you ready to play? Join in with Cory making some tapping sounds. Our next sound is jaggy. You can just scrape the wooden spoon or metal spoon or even your hand across the top of whatever you're using to make a sort of jaggy scraping sort of sound. Let's find out how Cory makes a jaggy sound on the vibraphone. Now join in with Cory making some jaggy sounds. Our next sound is swirly. You're going to take whatever you're using as your beater or your hand. You're going to make big and small swishy circles to make a swirly sort of sound. Let's hear how Cory makes a swirly sound on the vibraphone. Are you ready to play? Join in with some swirly sounds. Corey's now going to make up a piece. He's going to improvise and you can join in. Have a listen and see if you can hear if Corey is playing tapping sounds, jaggy, swirly. You can choose to do the same sounds or you might choose to do the opposite. It's up to you. You can choose. You might choose just to listen and that's fine too. <laughs>
Well done, everyone. We've just got time to let you hear how the saxophone and vibraphone sound together. And this is a short piece that Corey and I are going to make up. We're going to improvise and make it up as we go along. If you want, you can join in and play or you can just listen. You might feel like doing some moving. See if you can hear the different sounds. Can you hear any jaggy sounds, swirly sounds, tapping sounds? What other kind of sounds can you hear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 